brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Man, the best part is if we have a rope, tie one end here, one end over there. We swim it. That's our only shot right now. This video was captured on Tuesday by Raylena Aguero. Her home along San Dionisio Road, only accessible now by rope. The bridge leading to her house, unpassable. Inside the house, there was up to her ankle already, the water. Inside where, we, uh, where my kids sleep, it was already up to our ankles and everything. The problem here, the nearby river. The household of eight was forced to evacuate due to the flash flood. Our only issue was trying to get out before our kids get out of school. We didn't want to be stranded out down there the whole day because we need to pick up our kids from school. Aguero says her kids, a five-year-old boy and a one-year-old baby girl, are her biggest concern. They'll find refuge staying with family tonight. None of us have any beds to actually sleep on tonight. We're gonna, we're actually gonna evacuate to my brother's place. Right. So at least we have a dry place for our kids to sleep. Aguero had turned to social media for help. KUAM was able to put her in touch with her mayor's office, as well as the American Red Cross for assistance. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.